Hello everyone myself Dr Deeksha welcome to my channel in today's video i will be comparing plab that is exam for uk and amc exam which is exam for australia people who don't know me i make videos on common medical conditions and amc exam preparation and how you can apply for the same if you wish to know more about it you can check out my previous videos link is in the description in this video i will talk about exam structure dates available validity and fee structures starting from amc exam I will give an overview on each topic but if you want detailed information on dates available and process to register you can check out my previous videos too. Starting from requirements to give this exam you need to verify yourself in APIC and EMC portfolio you know you need to have a primary medical qualification but you need not to have any English proficiency exam this is only required at the time of registering with EMC board after clearing your part 1 and part 2 exam. Next is exam structure. There are two exams. Part one, which is MCQ based exam, it consists of 150 questions and you will get 3.5 hours. Part two, which is a clinical exam and consists of 16 assessed stations and four test stations. Next part is fee structure. For part one, it will cost you 2920 Australian dollars. Part two will cost you 3730 Australian dollars if you give exam at the National Test Center and 4130 Australian dollars if you give online clinical examination. Next part is location and dates. Throughout year for part 1 exam except for December and January, they don't have dates in December and January. And for part 2 clinical exam, either via a video conferencing format at location organized by a uh, candidate or when health restriction allow at the National Test Center in Melbourne. Most stations have 10, 10 minutes duration comprising of 2 minutes of reading time and 8 minutes of assessment time. Next is validity. Once you have given AMC exam, your results will never expire. Results uh, for part 1 it will take 4 weeks to get your results and for part 2 3 weeks following your clinical examination. Now talking about PLAB exams, first is you will have to give a English proficiency exam before giving PLAB 1 and PLAB 2 exam with IL score of 7.5 bands overall and 7 bands each in each module. If you are giving OET exam then you need to have at least B grade in each component it is reportedly easy to pass it as it is uh, designed specially for doctors. This is not a requirement for AMC. Next uh, is exam structure. So they have uh, two exams. Part 1 which is MCQ based exam. It has uh, 180 MCQ questions uh, and you get 3 hours of duration. And part 2 which is a clinical exam and they have 18 stations with 8 minute duration each. Next part is fee structure. For part 1 exam, it will cost you 239 uh, pounds and for part 2, 875 uh, pounds, which is less than AMC examination. You can appear for part 1 as many times as you wish, but you must pass your part 2 within 2 years of date you pass part 1 exam. And you are allowed a maximum attempts of 4. Uh, if you don't pass your part 2 within 2 years of part 1 or fail at 4th attempt, then you will have to give part 1 and part 2 again. Next is location and dates. It is usually difficult to get dates for uh, PLAB exam. Uh, for part 1, it occurs 4 times a year and deadline is usually 8 weeks before the registration. For part 2, it only uh, you can only give part 2 exam in UK. Uh, next is results. Uh, part 1 declared 4 weeks after appearing for the test and part 2 usually declared 2 weeks after appearing and the exact dates will be announced at the time as the dates of the test released. So this is it for the today's video. I hope this helps you in making up your mind on what path you want to choose. If you have any questions regarding same, you can leave a comment below or text me on my Instagram ID. Thanks for watching.